before this, all I cared about was the streets. I didn't make myself any better by with the things that I have done. I think that the LEAP program offers extra supports without judgment, without any kind of stigma attached to whatever past that they may carry with them, whatever baggage they may carry with them. We offer them incentives and we offer them supports. We have a juvenile justice coordinator, we have a person who talks to the mother of foster care experiences, if that's what they've had. And it's all just to help. We develop great relationships with these young people and oftentimes we can't even get them to leave they feel so comfortable here. I think one of the most powerful results of this program is the relationships that we establish with students. I think that students come in oftentimes not trusting the system and we try to reestablish or for the first time establish trust in systems, trust in programs that can help them make more connections in the future through this trust personal opinion. I, I love the, the acronym LEAP because we're giving them opportunities to leap out of the traditional barriers that keep them from employment or education, leap out of poverty, leap out of oppression, leap out of all of these negative things that people try to put on them to hold them down. There's things that these youth have come out of that I probably wouldn't have been able to overcome and you. So let's give them a round of applause and give them the accolades that they need because they're strong, they're resilient, they're brilliant, and they're intelligent. I think that the LEAP initiative is impacting our community by just providing opportunity for our system involved young people to think about their post-secondary opportunities, thinking about college or thinking about some career choices like our information technology program or through our emergency medical technician program. A lot of our um, youth have difficulties obtaining jobs and having these LEAP internships at the school really helps. It gives them more flexibility with their hours. They can be in school. They don't have transportation issues. So these young people that have these experiences in foster care, the juvenile justice, criminal justice systems, and homeless systems can now broaden their horizon and think about how they become productive members of society. I think what one of the most powerful parts of the LEAP is that we are offering several post-secondary op opportunities to students who may not have been even aware of any opportunities after high school or after, after their HSE. There's a lot of things that anybody could be. Yeah, they helped me get achieve my GED. Now I got it. Now it's time to hustle for a job. I feel like some of the staff here is like a mentor, like Big Brother system. It stopped the procrastination, and you gotta have a positive mindset. You can't just say something and not do it. You have to do it and say it at the same time. So it's, it's, you gotta put your mind to it. They've motivated me with various positive reinforcements that got me out of bed to go better work on myself with bettering resumes and various other activities like how to write a cover letter.
The PLUS program and the JAG program work hand in hand. The teacher and I are always coming together. How can we help this student? This is what the, the student is struggling. How can you help and how can I help? We host weekly workshops twice a week along with college and career courses and then individualized counseling that allows students to create career development plans, learn to determine employer expectations and just become really ready for the workforce. The openness and the large vulnerable youth categories of the LEAP project have allowed us to expand to new communities, to talk to friends, parents, probation, parole, community centers, homeless shelters, and to really impact a lot of young people more than we ever were before. One of the major adoptions of LEAP in our community was the integration into every public high school and the supports that we're able to provide students that are exploring post-secondary education career path. I think what Project LEAP has done for us is in a way kind of identify where the systems don't serve all students because we can't fix it if we don't recognize where the problem exists. And so we've been able to kind of see where, what are the bottlenecks that students face, or the, I call them brick walls that students face when they're, when they're on campus. We need the support and the wraparound services from community agencies, from families, from different organizations. What excites me about any type of social programming is the dividends that you see it pay, the positive impact in not only the lives of the individual, uh, but in the family of that individual and ultimately the community of those individuals. I think that, you know, in our community, we need to be able to support young people who have not had a traditional experience with education. Um, so our foundation does a lot of work with young people in the foster care system. I feel our reach has expanded to a population of young people who really do benefit, who want uh, and need our services, and we're really seeing some great outcomes. Pathways to Success has been a LEAP site for a little over a year now, um, and we've seen it adopted into our community in many ways. We've seen amped up case management, uh, firm barrier reduction, as well as more opportunities for young people to engage in community and community organizations. We've had a, a pretty um, diverse group of students who we've, we've been working with for the past year or so, and some of them are performing exceptionally well and they are leaders on campus and, and mentors to other students. It's opened up a lot of opportunities. I want to continue to go to school to become a medic because I've been inspired. The program has really changed my life because it not only made me realize that I had to discipline my own self if I wanted to get this done, um, but it also got me to my, where I'm at now. I want everybody to know that, that you can have a voice even if somebody else has to help you with that. Coming to Drag New York, I met different people, different resources, and it opened new doors to different internships, it opened doors to schoolwork, to helping me get my GED down to my drag specialist, helping me get a job at Burlington that I finished, and now helping me get a job for the summer that keeps me out of trouble. Different programs like LEAP with the South Bay Community Services, it was different because I got to meet new people and get involved in going on different like little field trips. Just being more involved made me feel better. One way that JAG has affected my life is it gave me one incentive to do the things that I not only wanted to do but was striving to do. And it also gave me a hell of a lot of resources and support, which was instrumental to me becoming, getting where I am today.